all right guys how you guys doing welcome to another episode of tech talk today i want to show you guys how to use a bullet piercing valve from subco to tap into a compressor okay this compressor is a compressor that i removed from a job the other day and i just want to show you how i did it and uh the process to it okay so uh look if you notice too right about there you'll see that hole that's where i did my evacuating and all of my charging and all of that from all right so basically back to what i was saying is so when you purchase it it comes in a little envelope all right like this but i discarded that all right what you get is you get the actual valve itself all right with the three screws that come with it the little uh cap so if you got to leave that on the job and you want to add another layer of you know uh protection you just, you just tighten that up the actual uh, wrench right here to actually turn these guys and I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. And I'm holding the camera with the other. So like this, you see? And then this spins, all right? It won't spin because it'll be on the compressor and you won't... Uh, it, it will have something to give it uh, to hold on. All right, so you got these little sleeves and basically these little collars. I'm not sure what they're called, but whatever they're for, uh, whatever their name is, what their, their purpose is, though, is they go inside of the rear here. Basically, if you look at them, right, they have these little notches here. So what happens is they go inside like so, right there, right? And what happens is you use these so you can put them on your compressor, on your on your copper, all right? So this one may not be a good fit. You notice how it's not fitting good, right? So let's try the other size. Now let's see what we got. Much better. Notice, notice how nice that is. Notice how good that will will sit, right? And it's gonna get tighter when we clamp on the valve, actually, as opposed to this. Where's the other one, right here? As opposed to this. Check this out. Boom. Oh, shit, sorry guys. It's kinda hard with one hand. All right, look at this now. See how that doesn't really have the same, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Again, one more time to this. See how much better? All right, so now once you have that on, I'm going to press mute, okay? I mean, pause one second. Okay, so now once you, once you do that, you want to actually put the valve. Now, remember, one thing I always tell guys is, listen put the valve in a direction that it's gonna make it easy for you to hook up your gauge. You don't wanna do this, and then you're in the back of a unit. How are you gonna, get, mind you, I'm in my front my front uh, balcony here, my, my porch, but how are you gonna get your, your gauges here, you know, when that's inside of a refrigerator? You wanna give yourself access, so put it like forward, so you can hook up your stuff, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these, I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so once you get it going, you're gonna line up your three uh, screws so that they grab the back piece. And what you wanna do is hook up your uh, your little wrench there, right? And what you wanna do is, I like to do them like in a star pattern, right? A little bit like this, and then a little bit like this. These two I already had tightened pretty good because again, I'm using one hand. Once I get it going, I like to just do like a star pattern. You know what I'm saying? So that I, I tighten evenly at all times with it. Again, sorry for the quality, guys. I'm using one hand. And I'm actually trying to look at the job and look at my camera at the same time. And it's very confusing. But basically, I'm going to put my camera down and I'm going to get it tight. But you don't want this gap here. You want that to be tight. I'll show you what I mean. All right, there we go. So now look at the difference. I pretty much tighten them as, as good as I can, um, real tight. But again, once you get them going, you wanna, you know, follow up with a star pattern. You don't wanna do one single screw at a time. You wanna do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit in each screw, you know, you wanna, so basically you wanna tighten this one a little bit, tighten that one a little bit, tighten that one a little bit, tighten this one until you get eventually it to close like that. Now, once you get it to close like that, never touch this one, cause here's why, I have a spare one here. This, this valve is this basically, right? But watch what happens when you 
tighten this center screw here. All right, if you notice here, right? Let me get a good angle of it. There you go. You guys see that little that little needle there? How it that little sharp uh, spike? Well, what that does is as you tighten this center guy here, as you tighten it, what happens is it pushes that up. It pushes that forward. So right now, how we got ours, it's out. That spike is out because the screw is out. But once you put the, that center screw all the way, that spike comes out and it actually pierces your system. You know, it pierces your system. And then once it pierces your system, right? So once you tighten it, right? Let me do it here. Hold on. Once you tighten it, right? Let's assume that we get in here with our, with our uh, wrench and we tighten it, right? Once we tighten it, what'll happen is, it's, imagine my finger is that spike. What's gonna happen is it's gonna pierce that copper. And once it pierces that copper, we wanna back, back it out to allow that Freon or those pressures to come here to where we're gonna hook up our gauge to. I mean, yeah, our manifold gauges, our hoses. We're gonna hook them up right here. I'll show you what that looks like. So here goes ours. I hooked up my hose here. So again, once you tighten it all the way, you, you have tightened it all the way. Now what you wanna do is you wanna back it up, right? You wanna back it up, back it out, I mean. And as you back it out, what will happen is your, uh, your gauges here, let me show you my gauges, will begin to, uh, uh, you know, it, it, you wanna hook up your blue, which is your low side, but you don't have to open it here where my hand where my thumb is you don't have to open that you can keep them closed it'll still reveal the pressures but um once you pierce it and you back it out your gauges will show you what's going on and that's how you properly use a bullet piercing valve to tap into a system and you should always tap into the high side as well that's located by the filter drawer i'll show you guys that one in another video but for now i think this is you know a good way to show you how to tap into a system all right, guys, hope you like. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share. And please check us out on tmmacademics.com. If you're enjoying the content, please support our new merchandise, Appliance Repair, Live by the Gun, Die by the Gun.